Hey folks, time to check in. Been getting a little bit behind. Um, I have uh, actually quite a few things that have come in that I need to review, but um, life has been busy and um, I have not been at home listening as much this last week. So um, I'm gonna talk a little bit about uh, some things today. Um, I guess what I'm feeling is I'm feeling like um, I'm recognizing that people do seem to get value out of um, my opinion or the information I give on records. And so I really do try to listen to the records before I talk about them, not <clears throat> just play the first song or the first few seconds. <clears throat> that does happen. That does happen that reviewers are reviewing records that they only sample, if even that. So, with that in mind, there's some, uh, I'm going to skip around a little bit as far as what I've gotten, when I've gotten it. I like, to, I like to be chronological, but I can't now because it's just so much, actually. And I thank you. Thank you, people. So, I'm going to go with this one um, today. I received in the mail an album by a band called One Alternative. Well, let me just... Sent to me by the guitarist Mark Oppenlander. This is a band called One Alternative Twilight. Um, I can talk about this right quick. I did listen to this yesterday. They describe themselves as um, kind of a, 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 an acoustic fusion. This is a very nice package, by the way, folks. Um, really nice. Um, I got number 53 out of 500 pressed, 180-gram uh, vinyl, uh, gatefold. Comes with a... These folks are serious, you know, with a press sheet, two-sided press sheet. And uh, these look like uh, if you wanted to uh, print these up, you know, you can follow the score to the tunes. Once, happy to say I don't have to uh, mince my words here. This is really fine music. To me, it sounds like, uh, mostly it sounds like, um, not sounds like, I think a good point of reference for this, what they're doing is uh, the music of Oregon, Paul Winter Consort. Um, Jill Haley plays oboe and English horn. And they also have a pianist on here. And uh, it's bright and light music. It could easily be the sort of thing that you would hear in the background at a, at a function or something that you might not take much notice of. However, there's much to listen to here. Uh, I like I like this a lot, and I like what they do, uh, some interesting things. Um, they cover Billy Cobham's Stratus, you know, really gives it a, a different flavor the way that they do it. I appreciate you sending this to me, uh, Mark, and what I would like to really say about this is um, I'm glad that there's music like this being made. Of course, there's all kinds of good music being made, but I'm glad that you've sent it my way so that I can encourage others to pick up on this. It's um, an intelligent music, nothing to do with rock, like that, or hip hop, like that really has, that's really of no matter. And it's the sort of music that, especially at this time, I, I would love to see young people getting into uh, something with a bit of substance, um, uh, skill. Uh, these play, they, they, they play their instruments with, with, with taste and, um, and care. And so um, my first listen and a half of this led me to say, yeah, I can go ahead and, you know, heartily give this a thumbs up and encourage people to seek this music out. 
acoustic fusion is what they're calling it and I, th I think that you put it on it's going to give your immediate atmosphere a lift this would be something to make spirits brighter thanks again <clears throat> for sending it Mark to get back to some of the other stuff that I haven't really um, finished talking about I will get to um, Italy but this is goes back to I got a package from Germany Shamani music and this is a an artist by the name of Camilla de la board and this is a 12 inch um, EP I guess if I were to try to think of a genre to say this is it may be something like cold wave electronic um, it's not dance electronic at all atmospheric um, I don't want to use the word dark um, I don't catch these words of people I have to be honest with you I know that people write words and that's obviously an important aspect but I didn't catch the words of this I've listened to this a few times and the main thing that I can tell you about it is for people who are into um, electronic music this has some nice texture to it um, I cannot think of an immediate uh, reference for this I can't um, they do have video um, on YouTube so Camilla de la board you can you can find out about her let me see if I can speak intelligently about anything else before I go well this isn't new but if, if some of you caught me um, this last Friday on Adult Swim stupid morning bullshit um, <clears throat> besides the usual minute rather than the usual usual minute segment I did they had me uh, they had me live and I was on for about 15 minutes it was fun and I'll probably do it again um, one of the records that I spoke about was this one brain world plosive split EP I brought up the brain world because Mason Brown is brain world and he happens to be on staff at um, the um, Adult Swim in Atlanta, you know, the, the program that I'm associated with. And this is, um, I thought it would be fun knowing that I was going to talk live. I thought it'd be fun to make a reference to someone down there. And so I gave it a new listen. I hadn't listened to this in a while. The plosive side is okay. It's mostly piano and ambient and moves real slow, kind of like some Rodelia stuff. But the Brain World is in the uh, Frippertronics uh, vein of ambient uh, build and cascade and swell and wonderful fantastic record this is a limited edition owed only 250 copies of this I have copy number 39 this I see is still available even though there's only 250 copies I think you can find this I recommend this highly people who like a atmospheric ambient music this is this is the pick of the of the video this is the one I you know well, both of these, but this this is really what trips me, is ambient music. One alternative is, is good music. This is good stuff. Don't get me wrong. This is just what really trips my trigger. Ambient, electronic. Um, someone let me know that um, on the I had shown the Asherah Temple. It's still sitting down. I hadn't checked my, um, looked inside for a while. And Klaus Schultz is not the drummer in here. Thank you for straighten it out okay so Andrea if you happen to see this video I'll do one of the albums because this one I've listened to enough that I can speak about I received some records and CDs from Andrea in Italy and this is one of them Oaxaca O-A-X-A-C-A -A -A. and this is an it Italian free jazz unit I like that cover a lot fairly recent 2011 is when this came out and um, again you, I gotta be honest okay so this album is interesting it's, it is the kind of thing I'm interested in hearing they're doing some ensemble improvisation that at times gels it's a guitar drums percussion piano 
and trumpet. There's uh, it sounds to me like this, what the brew that they're working on, the way that they're working together, still has not completely gelled. There are parts on here where it comes together. Um, it really is a group search. It sounds like there's a bit of a search going on for what the music wants to be. I like that about it, but I also notice, honestly, that I can tell that there's still, um, it's still in progress. Some improvisers, to my ears, um, are, they're masters and they're, or they're really good at it. People have kind of a vibe. These folks may have that and it might be kind of alien to me the way that they're approaching it so that I have to maybe listen a few more times to catch what they're really doing. But that's my initial impressions and I've listened to this a couple times because I do like this sort of thing. Um, it's not noise. There is a rolling sense of structure that really kind of comes together and deconstructs at different times while they're, they're going. Do I recommend this to people who are interested in improvisational music? Yeah, I do. But notice what I said and see what you think when you hear. You, you, we all hear things differently, so please, that's the other thing. When, when, when I'm uh, faced with people still not seeming to understand the, 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 the truth of opinion, and still, it, it just blows my mind. People, opinions are not facts. It's, it's impossible for us all to have the same opinion, so why are people still having so much difficulty with, uh, with opinions? If we're, if we're supposedly adult, intelligent, and mature, and thinking, how is it we have so much problems with dip differences in opinion? Opinion is in fact. I keep dealing with it um, in comments in some of my old videos, which brings this up. Anyway, folks, I wanted to try to, I got more that, I appreciate it, folks. L seriously, yeah, I love receiving uh, free music. I sure do. And I've got more to come uh, to share with you.